This week, many of us watched in horror as a video made its rounds on social media and national newscasts, allowing us to bear witness to an officer in the Minneapolis Police Department kneeling on the throat of an unarmed African-American man named George Floyd for somewhere between three to five minutes until the man's life ebbed away. The officer ignored multiple desperate pleas for mercy and medical assistance for Mr. Floyd from helpless onlookers, including the individual who had initially reported the man to police for simply trying to spend a counterfeit $20 bill in a local grocery store. Four police officers in total participated in what should essentially be deemed as a murder in broad daylight. We fully empathize and agree with the anger and frustration demonstrated by people of all racial and ethnic backgrounds who continue to protest the injustice and total disregard for human life displayed by officers who abuse their authority in Minneapolis and anywhere else in the world. We recognize that humankind's inhumanity towards humankind is not exclusive to any particular region, but rather has great impact on us all. We thank God for Jesus, who never shied away from speaking out against injustices enacted on the disadvantage by those in positions of power, and who is coming back to put an end to egregious actions such as these forever. We join in protest with as well as lift up in prayer, our brothers and sisters in Minneapolis and the United States on a whole, who are sick and tired of being profiled and victimized by police officers for belonging to a particular socially constructed group, knowing that we would want and need their support as we are not immune to such abhorrent and iniquitous circumstances taking place in our city, province, or country. God bless us all as we await and anticipate his soon and desperately desired return.